special edition of Cruising with Warren. Oh, whoa, what's, what's that? That's beautiful. Thanks, DJ Allen. She's over there. So I thought, um, you know, I've listened to this song twice now. Um, it'd be good to kind of just take you a little through uh, the thought process of um, me not as a fan, but as a as a music theory and ear training um, fan and nerd. Um. So that intro is really nice. They use this. He uses a double stop in the melody, which I'll come back to in a bit because he comes back to it a lot. But I'm noticing that when he's playing this verse, although there's some interesting chord voicings, for the most part, everything so far is diatonic. Um, and diatonic, for those of you who, who may not be familiar, is just like all the notes belong to the same scale. There's no like funky, uh, strange, raised or flattened notes. And um, But the chord progressions, uh, are, are nice, but in, in some ways unusual for Tom York. The song stopped. Well, anyway, there you go. <clears throat> you have this uh, minor one chord to major flat six to minor five, and um, they're all sevenths. They're all voiced as sevenths. And then you have this interesting kind of like ascending chord progression with ninths in it and um, if you don't know what seventh chords are or how to build them um, I do teach that in my harmony module but you can google it too you know if you like reading Wikipedia articles and reading staff notation if you don't like that check out my uh, module on harmony but uh, the basic foundations of how to build chords like these um, it all starts with the understanding of thirds and like right here na, da, 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 that's one third this is a third and this to this note and then this to this note na, da, da, da. That's, that's how you get a minor seventh chord because you get one two three four five six seven seven notes away there it is um, so that, that, that upper note right there, what I'm hearing is, uh, he keeps bringing back those two notes. Da -da -da. That would be E, D, E, D, C, D. Very hoarse right now. Um, but yeah, what makes that little melody E, D, E, D, C, D a little more special than just oh, I love this delay part. Ooh. I wonder how much that gizmo costs and put on top of this piano lid. Got a little, little bits of fragments of all the chords that have come before, or maybe just selected. Somebody in the back, probably Phil. You know, he's just like, dang, Tom gets all the, all the glory. I'm just here chopping up little piano samples. No one even knows. But uh, uh, the reason those two notes da -da -da, da -da -da, sound a little bit more rich than what they are just by themselves, uh, themselves. Um, is underneath you have a, a one so that's a five that's a four and there's a one and underneath the five there's a one so he plays a one which is in the key of a minor and a and they place e d e above it which makes the chord sound like it's a little fuller like a note by itself sound a little fuller i should say and that's called a double stop 
So he's got a double stop where E, uh, sorry, E and A are in the right hand, and he goes E, D, E, but he emphasizes the A on the E. E, D, E, ba, 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 da, da. So when you see my thumb is doing the A, he does the same thing, he moves it down from D, C, D, G, G. So he, instead of doing A again with the D, it would sound fine with the A, but you know, it moves it over and it mimics the, the movement in the left hand as well. But that G, G with, with D, C, D, it's called a double stop. It's, it's very basic if you, if you uh, um, study solos, you know, just a lot of cool riffs in pop music use double stops. It's a, it's a neat trick from an arrangement perspective or a songwriting perspective on how to make a single note sound like more. So, Tom York still got it, man. I mean, it's a simple song. It's it's simple. It's straightforward. It's diatonic. There's no like funky like modulations and like chromatic accents and not a ton of syncopation. You know, almost everything is like on the beat, which is like what? <laughs> it's a very straightforward uh, song for Tom York, but just goes to show you, you know, you don't got to be fancy. You don't got to be complicated. Um, People who have, you know, taken some basic music theory understand that all these chords, they come from one key. You know, we're not borrowing from any other key. Um, the rhythm's just kind of like a basic 12, 12-8, 12 or uh, also known as just like a like a light swing shuffle type of rhythm. But, you know, he still got it. And uh, this is a little bit of my thought process as I'm thinking about making a tutorial. You know, people, people have been asking me to... Um, um, maybe break this song down so we'll see how it goes maybe it goes well maybe it doesn't maybe uh, you won't see it <laughs> this will be it but uh yeah you think in, any viewers have any questions on can you teach us how to play it <laughs> yes I can I absolutely can um, no reason I can't I guess I don't know. today is kind of flexible for me schedule wise um, but yeah, hopefully see you soon.